Hi. So yesterday I put up a reel about how you know you can use Alexa or any other device to basically stop reminding your children day after day about doing the chores or the tasks that they're supposed to do daily. For example, you know, put their shoes away or pack their bags, you know, brush your teeth, take a bath. So, uh, and you know, uh, it was pretty uh, encouraging that by the end of the day itself, I a parent reached out to me and she told me that um, she'd used it and it really worked. Now today, you know, I wanted to share it with you that why did it work? And, you know, this was just one tool. It's, it's not the end of the tools that you might be able to use with your children. In fact, if you understand the um, so-called the process or the science behind it, you'll be able to come up with uh, tools for your own children that work for you. So the reason this kind of impersonal setting up a system, a chart, and, you know, all these things work is because... There is a fundamental shift between who's in the driver's seat, who's in powerful in this equation, who's telling the child that, you know, uh, he or she should do something, the child himself or herself or another being. Because by the time the child is two or three, you know, they start to get the sense of that I am a, I'm an individual being, you know, other than my mother. Because until then, they're kind of attached. And they rebel or they don't follow your instruction or they don't sort of, you know, listen to you like, you know, most of us complain that, you know, my child doesn't listen. It's not like they're listening. They want the power. So this method or any other method for that matter, even when, you know, for example, if you ask the child, would you like to do it now or 10 minutes later, Right. That also works because uh, the child is in the driver's seat. You know, it is impersonal. It is giving them the power. And most of all, you know, you're building a life skill. You're building a life skill by telling the child or conveying to the child that you can trust your instincts. You can trust your being about what you want to do and when you want to do it. Now, and as a parent, of course, you want to control what you want to do or when, you know. But, you know, the a job of a parent is not to direct. The job of the parent is to create an environment where the child would be willing to do X, Y, Z himself or herself. And that's why that is so much tough. Because all our lives, we are busy telling our children what to do. We are not focusing on the environment. And I can, I wish, you know, I, <laughs> I mean, I can bet a million bucks on this. But your child will not learn from what you are trying to teach him or her. Your child will learn from the environment you create from, for him or her. And not just you. It's the environment in school. It's the environment from, you know, uh, their peers, their friends, the children they play in the park and all of that. So spend some time creating the environment and, you know, not so much telling. Thank you for listening. And if you want to reach out for any such tips, please feel free to uh, message me or reach out to me directly. And I will be more than happy to discuss with you how to help your child. Take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.